is Brie Chantel with Snob Queens TV and I'm here to review a product that has been on my wish list of things to review for a very long time. I've heard all the mixed reviews, I've heard the high end of the spectrum, I've heard the low end of the spectrum, I've heard it all and I've even did a review on this product when it first launched last year and I've still even with the mixed reviews wanted to give it a try. If you were wondering what it is that I am trying here today on wash day. It's none other than Tracy Ellis Wash's Pattern Beauty. Like I said guys, I've heard all of the reviews. I've heard the praises. I've heard the naysayers. I've heard that it doesn't work. I've heard it all. And from my initial review, I did say that I was going to give it a try for myself even with all of the mixed reviews that I've heard so today's the day I need to wash my hair and I've had this product sitting for a while and I said why not try it out today so I'm really 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 hoping that I got the right formula for my hair because I did hear that if you didn't get the right um, intensity for your specific hair type that it may or may not work so I'm hoping that I did get the right formula in level of intensity I did go ahead and get the hydrating shampoo I also got my hands on the conditioner for curlies and I also got my hands on the leave-in conditioner so guys if you're interested in seeing what my thoughts are are on this product stick around okay guys so i've sectioned off my hair into four different sections and i think i'm going to go ahead and start off with this front section i'm going to go ahead and apply the hydrating shampoo initial reaction is it has a really clean it has a really clean smell And it's got a really nice consens consistency. Applying it in my hair does feel really nice. And it's actually kind of clumping my curls, which is always nice when I'm shampooing. I normally like for my shampoos to be cleansing but not necessarily stripping so I did hear a lot of people say that it was kind of a little stripping so let me keep massaging this section in and I'll be back after I wash it out to let you know how I feel about the state of my hair hey guys so i'm back and i washed my whole head with the hydrating con the hydrating shampoo from pattern beauty and i have to say guys i'm not sure but i might be on the side of the i like this product spectrum because my curls normally after a shampoo do not clump up like this like look at this and i haven't even applied any type of conditioner or anything to it yet so as of right now the shampoo gets a thumbs up for me i'm going to continue on with the um medium conditioner and then i'll be back to let you guys know my thoughts after i get it in my head and detangle and let my shower cap sit on for about 15 minutes okay guys so i'm back i let my conditioner sit in for about 15 to 20 minutes and i'm just now washing it out and my hair feels super duper soft it feels super super hydrated it feels clean so guys i am so glad that i didn't listen to the hype per se and let the um masked opinion on this product deterred me from actually trying it as of right now i have to say that i really 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 love this product 
I didn't experience a lot of tangling. I didn't experience a lot of shedding. My hair feels super duper soft, which is always a plus for me when I'm doing wash day. I am about to apply the leave-in conditioner and blow dry so that I don't have to go to sleep with wet hair. And if you want me to do a follow-up video on any more products from this line, like the styling products, because I didn't get my hands on any of those, but I do still want to give those a try as well especially now since i like these the shampoo and conditioner so much um so again like this video subscribe share and comment down below and let me know if you want me to purchase anything else from pattern beauty and give you guys an honest review because i don't know if i mentioned it earlier or not i did buy this with my own money it is not a paid sponsorship and i'm not being paid to say that i like this product i really 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 do like this product so again thank you guys so much for watching what's up snobbies today is wash day and today i'm going to be trying pattern beauty by tracy ellis ross now if you've been on snobqueens.com you've seen brie chantel's initial review on pattern beauty by tracy ellis ross Today, I'm going to be trying the hydration shampoo. The medium conditioner for curlies. And the leave-in conditioner. Now, I've heard positive and negative reviews about the products. So I'm gonna try them for myself to see if they work on my curls because right now I'm really a main choice kind of girl. But you know, if I can have a secondhand product, then you know, I'll, you know I'm with it. So I'm gonna try these products out and I'm gonna let you know what they do to my hair after I apply each step. So I just wet my hair and I applied a little bit of the hydration shampoo. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I'm a product core. And I feel like my hair is never really, um, whew, it's never really fully covered and saturated with the product like it should be. Oh, this feels good. It smells really good. I don't know what the smell is, but it's, it smells familiar. Like I've smelled something like this before. It's really sweet, but not too sweet. So it's good that it doesn't have like a stinky chemical smell to it because I hate that. It's clumping my curls. I don't know if you can see that well. See, it's clumping my curls nice. I hope my curls stay clumpy throughout this process. So this is how my hair looks with the shampoo. And now I'm about to wash it out. Apply the conditioner and detangle for you guys. All right, guys. So I just washed out the shampoo, and my hair is still pretty clumpy, and I like it. But you know, I don't know if it's gonna stay like this when I blow dry it. So now we're gonna put in the medium conditioner. I heard a little goes a long way from Brie Chantel. I'm trying it, but I'm letting y'all know I'm about to use half a bottle on my hair, okay? Because I don't even section my hair in the first place to even properly address. Um, how much I should use it? Okay, so this, I, okay, I don't like the smell. This reminds me of a nursing home. Not the bad part of it, like, like a, a elderly lady's perfume. <laughs> Reminds me of like something my grand my grandmother would wear mixed with vanilla. I don't like that. It's perfumey. It's too perfumey for me. Um, it's not overpowering, like super strong. When you first put it on your hair, it it hits you. But I don't I don't like that. No, I don't. Mm -mm. Uh uh. Okay, I don't like I don't like the smell. This smells like 
to me, it smells like uh like white diamond mixed with mixed with like a hint of vanilla. I don't know if there's vanilla. Try. If there is vanilla in here, I don't know because I'm not reading all this. Oh, I smell the tea tree oil. I smell it, but it smells it's perfumey. It's very perfumey. I mean, you know. People like perfume smells. I'm not one of them. So, you know, and it's just a conditioner. So, I'm about to wash this out of my hair in a minute. I thought I detangled it. Because I do need to detangle my hair, y'all. I never detangle my hair. That is so horrible. I have horrible hair habits. habits. I don't detangle my hair before I wash it. I don't detangle, detangle my hair throughout the week. I detangle my hair when I put conditioner in it. When I put leave in conditioner in it. Once it is dry, that is a wrap until wash day again. Whensoever that may be. Because it won't necessarily be soon. Uh uh, y'all. So. Other than the smell, so far I do like how it's hydrating my curls. It's nice. It's a nice uh, conditioner. Yeah. So yeah, it's a nice conditioner to use if you want to to detangle your hair after you put it on. Because I've had experiences with some conditioners I put on my hair and um detangling just it wasn't working with the conditioner it still felt dry and like i would have like a really hard time and it was like kind of ripping my hair out in the past so that's really good that um i can detangle my hair with this conditioner without feeling like um without it you know feeling like i'm cutting grass so i'm like you know that sound that crunchy sound it makes and stuff like without all of that, and my hair is not being ripped out of my scalp with it. Yeah. So it's nice. I just don't. I just don't care for the smell. That's me personally, though. Um, you guys may like it. It's not super bad. It's just old peopley. All right, guys. So now. I'm about to apply the leave-in conditioner, and let's see what happens. A little bit. All right, let's see here. Now this smells like this. Like. Now this smells like just tea tree oil. You know what it smells like? I could be, you know, I don't know. This smells like that green grease. My granddaddy used to use it. This smells like that green grease. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you know, if you know, you know. This smells like green grease. Try to trace them back to the roots. Try. That's looking good. I don't know. I don't think this is for me. It's definitely not gonna replace my, my main choice products because I haven't met a main choice product I don't like. But um no, it's like see this side is less free, but it's still free. So I don't like that. But I'm gonna um blow dry it and see how it dries. And then I'll just come back and make adjustments and tell you what I need to fix this frizziness because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I do frizzy hair. I'm not going to do it. Not for Tracy and nobody else. Alright guys, so I just started blow drying this side and I can already tell 
it's really gonna be uh joan season one and it's gonna be super frizzy so maybe i need to try the heavy conditioner on my hair um instead but i'm gonna add um some product to my hair and fix this because i could tell that this was gonna end up bad had i kept blow drying it as is so i'm not gonna give up on the product just yet it's just right now it's not like a go-to for me of course because i have something that works so right now i'm gonna say this is a no for me just because see i've tried to salvage this side of my hair because i didn't add as much product on this side so i've tried to salvage this side of my hair it's pretty limp after i dried it and my hair is normally kind of you know out more um like this side it has more volume and this side is pretty just limp for me so i i don't like the way it looks it looks too flat and like it's like i can't even revive my hair on this side like i i feel like i need to rewash it so right now the pattern beauty like shampoo i like the conditioner i'm gonna have to play around more with the leave-ins and the styling products that she has to see if um something brings back the bounce in my hair but right now i'm not feeling what i got so i'll come back with a follow-up because i don't just you know do a one-off on products i do try them again so i'll try them again and we'll see from there if you want to see more videos like this See us review more products. Drop a comment below letting us know what products you want us to review. Or you can tweet us at Xavia or at It's Brie Chantel and let us know what you want to see. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so you can know when we upload a new video.